I was in my room with another priest at 8.15 when suddenly we saw a blinding light, like a flash of magnesium. Naturally, we were surprised and jumped up to see what was happening. As I opened the door which faced the city, we heard a formidable explosion, similar to the blast of a hurricane. At the same time, doors, windows, and walls fell upon us in smithereens. We were thrown to the floor. I shall never forget my first sight of what was the result of the atomic bomb. A group of young women, 18 or 20 years old, clinging to one another as they dragged themselves along the road. One had a blister that almost covered her chest. She had burns across half of her face and a cut in her scalp caused probably by a falling tile, while great quantities of blood coursed freely down her face. On and on they came a steady procession numbering some 150,000. This gives some idea of the scene of the horror that was Hiroshima. We did the only thing that could be done in the presence of such mass slaughter. We fell on our knees and prayed for guidance as we were destitute of all human help.